Are pa, God's juice, God's Ribena, to be more specific. Have you ever wondered how Stephen Adams became one of the big biggest athletes in the NBA? Have you ever thought how does a CEO or business owner balance their crazy lives with so much going on? Are pa, no caffeine, processed sugar free, helps your mental performance. It's basically a legal drug. Replace the energy drinks. You got a big night studying. You got a big game coming up. Grab yourself an arepa. This is how I use it. I use it 20 minutes before I get into my work or before I play a game. Smash it out. Effects usually last about four hours. Hustlers20. Use that promo code online for 20% off. Try it yourself or click the link in the description or automatically do it for you. Thank you, arepa, and enjoy the podcast. I gotta stay on my hustle, you know that I'm grinding for sure I came out right from the bottom, now they see me chasing my goals Now they see me on the go, now they see me on the road It's time to hustle, yeah, it's time to grow I'ma shoot for the stars and we ain't for the gold It's time to hustle, yeah, it's white list. So if you get put on the whitelist It just basically means that you get chucked on a short list to buy an NFT, I think So I think how it works is, do you know what gas is? Gas, like? The fees? No. Oh, fucking petrol, you loser. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when you said Calls gas. himself the NFT When you king. said gas, I was like, hey. Oh my God, bro. No, so when when you buy like um, an NFT or, yeah, well, I don't know what else, but when you buy an NFT with like Ethereum or something, the f- like the fees, the processing fees, I guess you would call it, like the bank fees, like that yeah. sort of thing. It's called gas, gassing fees or whatever. I don't uh-huh. know what it means, but if there's heaps of people trying to buy one thing, the gassing fees go up. So if you say like Nalk Boys release those full sim cards, the med- I think they called the meta cards. Have you seen those? No Dana White got one bro Wait um, when did they release these? Like Yesterday maybe Bro they had like 200,000 people Waiting On their um, They had 180 overnight On their discord bro They had like Shit Like they broke They um, What do you call it? Made discord crash Because they had so many people Go straight onto it <laughs> Fuck that growl. But so say if you have all those people trying to buy one NFT mm. or trying to buy the how many you have, say a hundred thousand people jump on, those gas price fees go up and up and up when there's heaps of people on it. Yeah. So that's why I think they created a whitelist. So like if you have a whitelist, only a hundred people are on it. Oh fuck, I thought that was um only like only a hundred people will buy it, and then the gas fees aren't as high. Aren't Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so is a whitelist like kind of like an exclusive? It's kind of like they don't want pe- everyone to try and jump on and have a dog fight over it because yeah. people get charged heaps. But like how it works, I think, is you get to pick your gas fees. Like, and so if you just put the gas fees right up, and there's heaps of people going for it, it usually puts through the highest ones straight away. Oh, okay. So you could like be a tight ass and like put it real <laughs> low and you might just, someone else will get it before you because they put their gas fees higher. Yeah. So it's like confusing, but that's, I think the whitelist is just to make sure the, like the gas fees aren't as high when people pay for this shit. True, you learn something new every day about those NFTs, bro. Bro, I, we're going to be learning something new about that shit every day for a long time, dude. Bro, when I when I first started trying to study it, holy fuck, was it confusing, bro? Yeah, I just I couldn't keep up. But then, I think that first potty that I listened to with um, Nalk Boys and Gary V, that kind of just like dumbed everything right down. Same, G. That yeah. was the same one for me. And there was another one I sent you. A oh, um, planting seeds. Planting seeds. Yeah, bro. bro. He's the man. Yo, yo. Um, he. Shout out to you, bro. Plant based Mouldy. He he listens to some of our shit as well. I look yeah, messaging him. Man, bro. He's the man, dude. And he's he's right into that trillionaire thugs. 
Holy shit, dude, that shit's popping off, bro. Bro, I didn't get, like, why all, like, the athletes and shit were sharing it. And I was like, holy shit, what the fuck is this? But I don't know how, like, I'm still trying to work out how shit pops. Like, how does it pop off, you know? Like, is it just, like... You can just word of mouth. And, like, and, like, good timing. Like, in, everyone's getting into this NFT space and, like... That was just a real good time to jump in and he had a good yeah. fan base. Yeah, he, bro, Fortified definitely has a good fan base, bro. He's a bougie, kind of, what he wears around. Bougie, bro. What does he do for a living, like, usually? Like, how is he that rich? Bro, I only I only knew of Fortify was back when I was living in Oz. Was I, I thought he was, like, a rapper and, like, a funny dude. Like, he'd do, like... I think he'd, he used to do, like, little videos and, like, just make people laugh and shit. What if I sounds like a gamer? Was he a gamer or not? I don't know, but I done. I think I done more research on him, and I think he does apps, bro. He's like he owns two apps or some shit. Is he um? Is he Gian, dude? Is he Fijian? Fuck, I couldn't even but tell you. Got to something. Yeah, his last name might have Kiel. He's got to be. Yeah, maybe. It's Fijian, isn't it? Yeah, fuck. Oh, I've got no clue, bro. Bro, he's he's on to it, G. Yeah, bro, but I was reading because I was reading about him, and I saw that um, I think bro, Kanye West mm. sent out a tweet of like his app reaching number one. Kanye's or yeah, Sam's. Kanye's, Kanye's. Oh yeah, and then What's under it, who Kanye's? Oh fuck no, sir. but under it, I, I was looking at this like a few days ago, mm. and then under it was Fortify's app. No way, and that got, and then a lot of the, pe- the people that I was reading on reckon that that was a good tra- like good um good advertisement for him because you saw the you saw Ye- um Yeezy's app, then you also saw Fortifies. Holy shit! So yeah, like looking 100%. at that tweet, you're like, holy shit! What the everyone fuck is this one? Yeah. It everyone would have seen that app, yeah, and like been like, holy shit. But I'm not. I'm not too sure if that was true. That was just what I was reading off the internet, off Google. What that that you're not sure if that tweet was true, or I'm not sure if that's how he like. That's what made him pop off. Well, it probably helped, but I don't think it would have been the thing that made him pop off. Yeah, it I'd, wouldn't. Have, wouldn't have been when he was doing his music and shit. Is it music? Pretty sure. I'm so sorry, bro, but I'm pretty sure that he was a rapper. Did you see his culture king shit, bro? Get that every day in your hands, bro. Fucking grouse string. To get that in your hand Especially with the giveaway Yeah yeah with the giveaway <laughs> If you live under a rock And you haven't seen We're giving away a year supply of these A whole year supply This Sunday we're announcing it at 6 o'clock So if you haven't jumped on that Go jump on it And get your Don't buy a piss in 2022 Why would you buy a piss if you can get it for a year For free uh, I go for my personal favourite Apple and Fijo Yeah I think that's mine too <laughs> Um, I, I'd say the we got a little bit of sugar in here. We got a little bit of sugar in here, but fuck, nothing too bad. Nothing, barely anything. And it's it's what, what is it? How many? Put it this way: it's not enough to hurt the rig. Capri serving, bro. These are gun, and that that um vodka lime soda ones like real good for the rig, bro. Bro, I haven't. So are these, by the way. I haven't. I've only had Apple and Fiji. I haven't even just because I just fell in love with it. Yeah, I haven't really tasted pear and manuka, but yeah, it's quite good though. That one's all good. I'll send some of those tonight. <laughs> <laughs> We're also uh, opening a pop up store in Bayfair uh, on the fourteenth of February. So if you're in the Mount area, or even if you're not, travel down, come through. We're there for two weeks. On the outside, by Amazon, on the entrance, um, we're setting up a store in there for for two weeks. So I think we're going to run a bit of a. Did I tell you about that basketball hoop thing? No, bro. Basketball hoop? What? Tell so me. I'm going to try suss a basketball hoop, and we're going to put it inside because we can fit one inside because it's fucking huge, bro. All right. Um, and we're going to put a big sign up outside. It's every hundred dollars you spend, you get a shot from the free throw. And if you get it in, whatever the item of the day is that day, you get it for free. So if you send three hundred dollars, you get three shots. So are you gonna wait? Wait. What do you mean item of the day? So like, say like, 
you know, we might change it up. Like, say we start with socks, a pair of socks, and you go hundred dollar. You spend a hundred dollars on some other shit. You then get a free shop. You get it in. You get the pair of socks for free. Or if the next day it's the person of interest T-shirt, if it's the oh, T-shirt, true. You go in. You get. You spend two hundred bucks. You get two shots. If you get one of them in, you get the person of interest tea. Free throw too, making it a bit easy. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I I actually got that idea low key from um, Culture King. Culture King, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they yeah. got that hoop inside. I remember one time we turned up there. We didn't even like we didn't even board anything, but they like we turned up and the bro was just like, "Hey boys, you have a shot. If you get it in, you get a free basketball." And we're like, "Holy fuck!" You're like, yeah. Oh, and none of us got it. <laughs> I know there's a lot of wannabe ballers out there, bro. So uh, show up. Have you seen what they what um, Culture Kings have outside? It'll be a bit hard for us to suss out, but. Um, no, oh bro, I haven't been to Culture Kings in years. Same, but they had that thing where, like, so I kind of like linked the ideas together. Um, they had the, the, what do you call it? It's like that vending machine thing. You know a vending that? machine? Yeah, so like, it's like that one that you like click and the thing goes sideways and then you press it again and it goes up. And oh, then you press it and again then and do it you goes snip it? And you you got to snip something or? And you got to try to get it through a hole. Like it's a circle and it's got to try to go through, got to go through the hole or it might just hit the edge and cut bounce back. You have to go through the hole. <laughs> something you'd be shit at, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just straight through the hole. Um, I heard and you like, tend to miss I was a, Last time I was in there, I just follow one of pair of Yeezys. Like they got like $500 gift card, pair of Yeezys. Like all this different shit that you can win in the We're not at that level yet, bro. But uh <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling us you're giving away some Yeezys, bro. <laughs> we ain't giving away no Yeezys, bro. But speaking of Culture Kings, that fucking trillionaire thugs thing, you see that? that no way, they Did you not see that either? No. Nah, You've fu been uh Fuck, I've been on a I I've limited my social <laughs> media. Jesus, bro. bro. I've limited You've it. been living under a rock, G. That's that right. they um they jumped on that trillionaire thugs thing like that, bro. And they've made they made a um, uh, f what do you call it? An exclusive drop of trillionaire thug tees. Bro. Fuck, bro. For I don't know how 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 long they did it for, but they sold out in minutes, G. You need to be quick on the wave, eh? Bro, they oh, literally man. just like sussed it out. They must have heaps of just like tees ready to go to print something on. And just have their own printing facility and sure they're like I seen on Sam Fortify's thing. Yeah. He was telling everyone to go down and um and turn up to the Culture Kings and and buy a t shirt or two or whatever. And yeah, apparently just all the Culture Kings were just stacked, bro, and they just sold out in minutes. Holy Some shit. people were on the website at like O two or something and they couldn't get on. It's it's crazy what NFTs are doing like these days. Yeah, well, I reckon we definitely need it implement it. G, I reckon you could implement <laughs> it into Havelock as well at some point once it once it um gains a bit of traction. Because like imagine like you know how we're talking about like a membership and shit like that. Remember yeah, we were talking yeah. about that on yeah. your thing, a way to monetize certain things for what you're doing. Imagine like that being an NFT. Like you have Havelock NFT holders. Where it becomes a membership and they get access to a Discord group so where the, you uh, have the good tips, massive like yeah, inside tips on shit, bro. I get so many, shit. so many <laughs> cunts in my DMs. Hey, uh, bro, what's your horse for the day? Oh, hey, you're getting that now. <laughs> yeah, Jay, and Everyone thinks like, you're the main <laughs> tipper, but you're not. I was like, oh, bro, and but I always get messages in the morning, bro. I'm like, bro, like fuck, the horses don't race till like five, like. You don't what know what the track's gonna be like. You don't what, know. what about run run these run these guys through what um you get that call you gave me the other day? Oh, your D hop do two no, tutties. No, no, no. Which one? The um, you're like, bro. I've got a I've got a tip, bro. <laughs> but uh, the deals we go seventy thirty split on it. Oh, oh, my fucking ten ass multi of the week. Um. Yeah, bro, I was crunching a bit of numbers. Have you have you finalised it yet? Because <laughs> if you finalised it, then we should just explain it on this potty. I just because you know you got to wait for the press conferences. 
you got to feel the energy in the press conference. So what's it got involved in it? Tell me. Uh, UFC. It's got UFC, NFL, and that's it. It's only it was only seven leagues, bro, or eight leagues. But I was choosing for the UFC. I was choosing how the person won, which is a like lot better oh, odds hard. than choosing just win or lose. Yeah. So I went. Um, I think do you know. You know Khabib mm. He's got a little cousin Or a little brother Fighting in the UFC This week So I was just like Bro if he's anything like Khabib Like <laughs> So you don't even know Who he is or oh, I've never ever seen Saeed oh. Nurmagomedov fight But He's a Nurmagomedov And I've just seen highlights I've just seen highlights And I was just like You know what You know Sometimes you don't even know What you're betting on bro But you're just like He's a Nurmagomedov. You gotta go with the last name, that's bro. Like, that's like a jiu-jitsu fight and bidding on Nico, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not, bro. It, it's more tactical than that because everyone in Khabib's camp is winning. Islam Makachev hasn't lost in the UFC yet. He fucking beat Dan Hooker in the first minute. Like, submitted him straight away. Oh. He, they're, they're just freaks in that camp, bro, because they just... Wait, Khabib's Khabib's camp Like he's got like a Group of fighters That, that uh, he trains with Like every week Or whatever yep. it is Insane bro Like I remember there was A viral video Going around Of Khabib Swimming in like A lake that was like Minus fucking five Against the current <laughs> And he was just Freestyling against the current And he wasn't even moving bro He was basically Freestyling In the same spot <laughs> What for? For his fight camp Bro that's just playing <laughs> up to you That's how hard they go bro So you know That's what my tactical Like I was just like bro If he's in that camp He's training with Khabib Training with Islam There's no way he loses I mean it makes sense But what's he paying? Four bucks for a finish He's a favourite to win He's the favourite to win Finish What do you mean? Like So KO Submission Oh so it doesn't go through to the end you mean? No. Nah. Okay. Uh, it doesn't go by decision because they think the punter are uh, the the bookies think he'll decision, but <sighs> they don't know that he's in Nurmagomedov, bro. And he's what? What? What's his? Um, oh, don't I don't know. I couldn't tell you. His specialty is fucking. But is he more of like a submission dude, like on the ground, or is he more of a stand up? Because I was I was watching it with Bib, and he's quite the opposite of Khabib, bro. Khabib takes you down. Just oh, actually speaking of beer, it's just beer. Are you on that? Nah, nah. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let up. No, he's just downstairs. Drop him the um key down. Okay, okay. It's all good. We'll just leave it running. Not that side. The other side. Fucking chilling on my car. Get the fuck off my car, bro. Bro. <laughs> Bro, we've got so much more of these to punish. It's fucking getting hot up in this bitch, bro. Are you hot? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even hot there. Eh? But I hope that um Oh Pippa Nuts. He's on. Yeah. Fuck, of course we're on, bro. Nah, hustlers, hustlers, bro. Oh, I think it's fucking stealing my job, bro. <laughs> well, I may as well. You don't turn up on time, so. Are you not talking to the wrong. Are you talking to me or are you talking to him? <laughs> Fuck, you know. Uh, Can you come now? Let's, let's quit the chit chat, bro. I'm trying <sighs> to get him my, hus my hustlers potty. Fuck's sakes. He and tells me he's organised today. He's organised it. And next time you sit on my car, I'm I'm supposed to be cutting the the cameras for um have a look right now. By the way, yeah, but uh, Bib wants to show up like two hours late. It's all right, bro. It's all right. We live and we learn. <laughs> What's another guaranteed one you've put in there? And gar you oh, think, guaranteed oh, one that you're gonna like. Like, you might like, have some that you're like not sure yet, but one that if I had ten grand, I'd just slap it on there. Like, yep. Okay. Francis and Gampu knockout. What's Bib thinking there? He's There's Bib's a a giving face. me a look as if I'm a fucking retard. Well, we'll get to that, mate, because 
Cyril Garn looked like an idiot at that Just press conference it, today. You excited for the store, bro? Excited, bro. Right. Kind of nervous. Because if it doesn't pay off, it's a fuckload of money to spend, <laughs> G. <laughs> for nothing, bro. So hopefully it uh, pays off. Uh, how, uh, at the very least, you'll have Bib in there buying something. So that's always Gax good. reckons he's going to come through and make his first cop. <laughs> Skex, I was like, thanks, Gex, two and a half years later, you asshole. Oh, Skex, he's a, he's a man of the people, bro. Let's talk, let's talk about um, the growth of Have a Look, bro. How, how do you think it's going? Uh, I just looked at it, actually, it. sorry. I just looked at it just this morning, and I think it might have said, flank, maybe 500. Yeah, f you're on 500 members. We're on 500. Yeah. Fuck. What a milestone. That's good. Like, to, to be play. honest, to be honest, we we were expecting about like two hundred. We we're like, ah, fuck, mm. can't be too many punters out there from from here. But fuck, to get five hundred, bro, that's actually out the gate, that's especially especially during December and Jan, where everyone's just on the piss. Like, mm. it's, it's holiday mode, bro. Like, Hard. it's not really. I haven't done much punting during like this period. Just everyone's gone a bit. Uh off the uh, off the grid, eh? Yeah, last yeah, year. yeah. F last year, me oh, included. Like just traveling and fucking trying to stay off the phone during summer, bro. Like, but yeah, five hundred members. That's not bad, bro. That's more than than how many Instagram followers you have. <laughs> <laughs> I had to delete my bane and uh, let's not go through that. So, uh, <laughs> touchy subject. Touchy subject, bro. I had to delete it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, touchy subject. <laughs> Had look, to delete look, it. You uh, had to. If, it, if it stops the argument, you know. Oh have to, have my to. god, that is terrible, bro. Um, um uh, what do you, what do you think that you're across the board? Do you think you're nailing it at the moment? Your your biggest strength of have a look right now, bro. I think I think the banter in there is quite quite good, bro. Quite funny. Yeah, yeah like, like that. that's that's probably what I would say. And, and like everyone knows it as a joke. Like we haven't had anybody like we haven't had any dickheads yet. We haven't any like yeah. haven't haven't had anybody arguing about anything yet. Like it's just all been fun banter basically. Oh, yeah. And and we've like we've seen that we've got some like consistent like posters, like real confident consistent posters. Yeah, I mean, there's at least five posts in there a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's, it's not even like it's not even like. It's winning every week, but like they're conf they're confident enough to yeah keep yeah. going, keep like fucking James. Having it. yeah keep having a look. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, James, James Golding, uh, <laughs> pick up those tips, bro. <laughs> James Golding has eaten no lollipops in six months. One three eight has lot of has lost a lot of money <laughs> on uh, James Golding, <laughs> but we appreciate the tips, bro. We do, we do. We've actually gained quite a lot from James Golding, so. It, Logan it Bell out. Shout out Logan Bell Fuck he's been a legend bro He's the GOAT bro I've been talking to him heaps About this NFT shit And um And crypto Bro he's hard out into it True Like hard out He reckons He puts all his money Into crypto Fucking give me a message Logue Shit He's telling me about this um I was telling Bib about it The other day There's this card I think it's called A Wirex card Don't quote me on that But It's like a FPOS card Like a Visa card and you load your crypto onto it, and you can use it like a Visa card, like a PayWave card. Is it that green card? I don't know. What oh, I think I've seen on TikTok people using it. <sighs> Literally, you play, pay for stuff with um, crypto, at, <laughs> like on a PayWave machine. I don't know how it works, bro, but... And he's like, I mean, um, he's he's saying like, chuck me down guaranteed for, a, for one of the 128 NFTs and shit. He's like, I'm buying one. Like. Bro... No, no. Actually, what like, what made you think that you, what made you realize that doing one through eight NFTs is actually a possibility? Community, bro. Like, like that's pretty much what our brand's built off, and that's pretty much what NFTs is. If you do it with like utilities and shit, it's community. Like, think about it. Discord, like. What Trillionaire Thugs is, keeps posting about is they're building this strong community. Like that's what, that's the strength in, in NFTs, I reckon, is building a, a 
tight knit community, and we have a community, bro. Yeah, bro. I've seen those DMs. The and so trying to definitely. like, trying to move with the world and build. Like, fuck. We may fuck it up, bro. Like, it may not be the the meanest thing to come out, but like, I think that it's important that we go into that space because I believe that that's where the world's going. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, like I do. Too. Everyone's gonna be in that space at some point. So trying to get into it early. But I reckon, bro, like I reckon with what we're offering, like we can tenfold what people invest into it, like an NFT with us. I reckon we can give it back to them like that, bro. And I've been thinking about, and I'm not guaranteed yet, but I've been thinking about potentially, again, I'm not confirming this definitely, but um, giving you guys all a free one. NFT. Yeah. So you you're a holder of it because obviously you guys are a part of it. So, um, because you you already have the utility. You're guaranteed it. <laughs> you you <laughs> can we get that on camera? <laughs> you you already have the utility from it, but for you the it would be more down the line. Like you may be able to, I don't know, sell it on or whatever to so it can give you some financial sort of gain if if it ends up that way but what they're yours bro that is not yours wait what are you look what are you looking at glasses oh bro they were put in my room bro so i just assumed that they were mine uh but yeah i reckon i reckon um we may as well try and i can we also have the connections of certain people that like you know, like, say we get, like, Putty's, like, keen, bro. So, like, <laughs> getting Putty involved in that, because he reckons all the heaps of the Landers boys are keen to get involved in this sort of shit, and just getting them, those sorts of dudes, in the Discord or whatever, so people are, like, yarning to them daily, just that sort of shit. Literally, it's all community, bro. That's what yeah, I'm trying yeah, to focus 100%. on. And, like, say you buy an NFT, you get, we drop exclusive clothes, we do a drop, only NFT holders can buy it. A certain t-shirt that only an NFT holder can buy. Um, we put, say, your NFT that you bought, because they're all going to be one of one, the one that you bought, <laughs> we put on a t-shirt and we sell it, you get Sorry, percentage bro. of the profits. <laughs> what? <laughs> I wasn't laughing at anything you were saying, bro. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Fuck, I couldn't even tell you, bro. I couldn't even tell you. Say it, can't. <laughs> no, no, I was just, I was just having flashbacks, bro. Of today. Yo, yo. Yeah. <laughs> but I may as well drop that one in there too. <laughs> beep, beep. I sat in the car. Last <laughs> day when I get back to the car, I'm fucking off you, bro. <laughs> bro, I was like, he's like, oh, bro, come for a ride with me to Tauranga and I grab, pick something up. I was like, yo, oh, sweet. let's keep it a. Nah, it's nah, not, nah, nah, nah. We're it's not, not a spread the word. Bro. Nah, it's spread the word, bro. You already told everyone anyway. <laughs> Fuck, hey. Any records for the clap? You better get your definition of the Kyle clap. Kyle right, calls bro. it a clap as well. Oh. Hey, well, does you go not? around saying that if you want. You go around saying that if you want. Bro, it's just about being a nice person. Bro. Anyway, you let people know. Takes me, takes me, <laughs> to, and I end up at family planning. <laughs> And I'm sitting in the car and steaming hot for f 50 minute, 45 minutes. That's good. Bro, we we'll get there at 150. We left it. Can't we got there? One thirty. We got there at 10 past. Oh no! Like Don't you worry, bro. I was two. watching the clock while you were pissing in a cup. <laughs> got <the> yeah. <laughs> Joe, no, I, I was. And I sat there for 45 minutes texting this <laughs> dude like, "Nah, fuck you, bro. This is actually on the purse. Like, I can't believe you bought me here. This is the biggest <laughs> stitch up." Why would you even pick me up? <laughs> Why would you want someone to come bro, with you to sit in the car like Because Game Pass far. I needed some chat. Oh, chat. We, I was sitting in the car for longer <laughs> waiting for you than I was in the whole entire car ride. Yeah, bro, but it's just because you have some chat, bro, on the way. And I was just like, fuck, I don't really want to drive all the gate park by myself. So I was like, yeah, do me a favor and wrap it up next time, bro. <laughs> Playing up. Any big wins and have a look? Oh, fuck. Fuck, don't even talk about that, bro. Is We've been... Any? Oh, you saw it, eh? Our fucking... 
<laughs> what about our little ten ass ten dollar multi that almost pulled off like three point eight k? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking J Mac on a favorite. I thought that was honestly the most guaranteed thing ever. Oh, wait, no, 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 that wasn't no, actually. No, yeah, no, it was a different one. It was, it was, um, a ho- it was horses. It was, um, yeah, it was fortified. No, J Mac's a jockey. Oh, uh, it was fortified. Oh, that's that. And what, what's his what's his horse he loves? You see, it's a it was a Chris Waller horse, and he loves Chris Waller horses. But what the fuck happened? Oh, I had him for top three. Yeah, the the place one lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the so, four dollar seventy win one. Bro, I had like one. a four dollar seventy three dollars eighty. We I don't think we had a fa- oh we did have a favorite actually. Fuck, I I screenshotted it. But yeah, I was honestly I I think it was a case of celebrating too early because. Uh, once all those wins came, I was like, holy fuck, this is guaranteed. And then uh, that was all she wrote. No money. Bro. Yeah, fortified. Um, is that cool and getter? Fortified at Warwick. To top three. That was the one that lost. <laughs> Place. Kershak win. What? Dollar eighty. A call from heaven to play, dollar forty. What? Those went through. Paldoro to win at two fifty. That was an easy race. Paldoro. Publicist to win at one ninety. And Travis to win at four twenty. They all came through, and fortified to place at two forty. <laughs> that, and that I was was, was a return on that like three point three yeah eight or three point six. Spewing. Fucking yeah, spewing. I was spewing. I was gonna have a good weekend that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to uh, eat some noodles, bro. For like bro, we sh- you know what we should do for have a look is set up a race races day, toting races, hire one of those things, and just have a have a look. They could, but I've honestly had like two people like message me about that and be like, bro, have you thought about doing a races day? I was like, oh shit. You know bro. what we could do to make it easy is we could bring the FPOS machine, and if 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 everyone like bought into it, and like. Everyone got there and like paid fifty bucks or whatever, and we just chucked it all on the FPOS machine, and then you had like a kitty to play with, so like use all bet together. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, you just place bigger bets <laughs> on the same horses, so yeah, everyone's yeah. jumping at the same horse. <laughs> like, That'd be mean. Yeah, bro, I'll be fucking down. It's just about organising it. Eh? I mean, I can help organise it if oh. you fucking turn up on time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's fucking me. When you this man up, showed up two hours late. Um, Jesus. give give, we got to wrap it up. But give because oh, you guys got to go. But give a um <laughs> few shout outs to some some good punters and have a look at the moment. Oh yeah, Paradise Punter. Yeah, he's been he a bit. Well. He's been a bit quiet lately. But fuck me, he posted like <laughs> fourteen days in a row. <laughs> Bro, he is. Yeah, he's dedicated. Few winners. Any updates? Like if they've won or not? Like he. Edits his post. Straight away Yeah bro. yeah, yeah. He fucking loves the punt bro you're a Legend you paradise You're a legend bro Logan Bell Yeah Oh it's Bell Goat. Yeah yeah yep. Bro Logs He'll be getting that group expert uh, tag soon Because fuck he goes well um, When we work James, out how to do that James gets the uh, participation award James Goldie oh. <laughs> oh, He's dedicated He's, he's dedicated. dedicated He uh, he tries And he uh <laughs> Ah, that's all I can say about him. Um, Bev, he's putting a few. Uh, he's a slips, not tips guy. So <laughs> hopefully that changes soon. Coxie, yep. Coxie goes. Oh yeah. No. Oh. No, nah, yeah. We'll see. He goes well. Me, as as it says on the. You page. getting called out for this Broncos tip that you keep throwing in? Someone said to post your slip because you keep saying that twenty three dollars to win, but. You haven't posted that you've put it Because I thought we were putting it. the 138 kitty on it. Well, you haven't asked bucks. me that. You haven't asked me that, bro. Oh, bro, put 500 on um, Shut Broncos to win the... Mouth. How confident are you? I'm fucking... If I had a million dollars, I'd slap Give it on. Give me a percentage of how confident you are. Mm, fucking 112. Okay, then. So I'll put 500 on it. If it, if they lose, you pay me 500 at the end of the season. <laughs> if you got a million bucks. Yeah, I'll oh, do it right oh. now. Well, I don't have a milli, bro. I don't even got a. <laughs> I said five hundred, not a milli. You said a milli. Uh, let me do a bit more study. Let me message the boys, see how they're feeling. 
Bob's won't do it. Steve will do it. Bob's won't do it. Oh, bro, how, is the vlog coming along or what's that? The um one three eight party one. Yeah, Timo's still making it, bro. Shout out to Timo, he's the man. Timo Brookie and um, uh, Jordy's doing our our vlog starting next week. Uh, next month. Hopefully, Tim- be mean. Hopefully, Timo got the footage of um Bib throwing ice at everyone <laughs> while he was cross-eyed. Oh, bro. He threw it at a chick, eh? You didn't even realise it hit the chick. I remember seeing the video. I definitely saw the video. Uh, you hit the chick. Wait for that Sorry. sloppy video of him to come out. But, uh, nah, yeah, thanks for having me on there, Lossie. All right, mate. Love you, Rick. See ya.